and you'll be getting a lot more information about New Haven Promise. But right now, we, let's talk about some of the other barriers that parents mm -hmm. perceive themselves to have. And you say the three biggest problems seem to be registration, transportation, and language, where we're sort of dealt with the language piece. Mm -hmm. Talk about registration issues. Well, it's, it's interesting because we have different type of registrations. We have students who are coming as new students and students who want to be transferred from one school to the other. I but see. let's concentrate on, on the registration aspect. Um, parents need, when parents want to register a child into one of our schools, mm -hmm. they need to call our phone number, which is 203. 946-8501 and the registrar's office will provide them with all the information that they need to register their child. Um, once the child is registered in our schools, then um, the most important thing for that parent is to attend the orientation, which is the first week of September. During the orientation, parents are given an envelope similar to this one. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, it's going to change from year to year in English and Spanish. And in that envelope, students will be able, in parents, um, to read what are the policies of the Department of Education, uh, transportation information, so on and so on. So yes, it begins in registration. However, parent involvement is extremely important because once they go to the orientation, uh, the orientation sets the path for the whole year. Ah, I see. Because at the orientation is where they get all the information about everything else. Yes, yes. Okay, so I just want to recap. We're going to put that up on the screen. Some of the registration issues um, is, so registration is first, you have pre-K three and four, and they have re orientation before registration. Right. Yes, what we do is um, when a student is going to be going into our pre-K program, okay, we have um, a, a book similar to this one, which mm -hmm. is given to parents. Mm -hmm. They can contact uh, the information um, um, in, the in the book. They have different schools that have all different programs. And of course, um, registration, what they do is they meet with parents and they have meetings at different locations because a student that's going from pre-k four to kindergarten parents need to have certain documents that are needed for that student to oh. start in kindergarten okay so let us emphasize that so pre-k three and four mm -hmm. they have orientation before registration yes they, they, they and that is grade. different from all the other grades from k through eight that's yes. different. Orientation for K through 8 is done the first week of school. Okay. And also it's done for pre-K, And but before the student is registered, parents are sent letters and they explain to them what are the documents that are going to be needed for that registration. Okay. Danny, I want you to look in that camera and tell people who are registering their children for the first time, who are just entering in pre-K 3 or pre-K 4. Yes. Please tell them about the orientation, how important it is. Well, what happens is some parents have students or ch children that are attending uh, privately owned daycares. So oh, what they, do, they need to do is they need to contact our offices, and then we will provide them with the information that they need and the proper documentation that is needed for them to register the children into one of our schools or one of in, into one of the programs that we have at independent uh, child caring places. So we, we actually recommend the parents always contact us, um, especially at the beginning of every year, and then we will be able to tell them when we're going to start the registration for pre-K okay. uh, three, pre-K four. But we also have programs in early childhood. We we start them at birth. So um, at birth. Well, yeah, we do have some centers that you know not run by us, but they have, for example, LULAC, which we work in collaboration with, um, early child center, early learning center. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, we're trying to prepare our children from birth to 12th grade. Okay. And then we're going to keep track of them once they go to college, which is great. It is fantastic. I just want to reinforce for parents the registration issues that pre-K 3 and 4 have orientation before registration. We can't stress that enough. Mm -hmm. 
and for the K through 12, they have registration before orientation. K through K through 12, 12 yes. the orientation, the well, yes, if you're yes. a new student. Yes. But if you're a current student, the orientation takes place in the first couple of weeks yes, at the but, beginning but of the school year. Yes, but for new students, so the first week of school is parent orientation. That's right. First week of school. During orientation, parents get information about transportation and everything else that will keep them for the rest of the year, That's the right. school year. Okay, now, transportation problems is a major issue mm -hmm. because many parents say they cannot come to report card night or they cannot come to the school to yes. be involved because they don't drive or, you know, whatever their issues are. Tell me what are some of the key transportation problems? Well, getting getting to as Nilda said earlier, you know she has four four kids. I think she, she said five, yeah, kids, five kids. Five yeah. kids in five four different, different schools. schools yeah. So you know when, when when you have to go to report car night, yes. or when you have to go to parent meetings, and we do understand that we do understand that parents cannot be at five different buildings at the same time. However, so. You know, we have provided and we're working with parents in getting to school, but we're also providing them with tools that they can use. Mm -hmm. One of them is SchoolNet. We're currently testing in five schools uh, SchoolNet, which is a program that we that parents can actually go in and they can get information on the on the student. But we're adding a component to it that is going to make it great and it's called a great card. And parents a great will, card. Yes, yes. And parents will be able to communicate and send emails to teachers, get the report cards. So it's a great card and a great book the same? It's, it's similar. It, it's okay, similar. Okay. Um, and uh, parents will be able to, to get all that information and send it, um, you know, get information, have a communication with the teacher via email. We understand that there is also a problem with parents having computers. But then on a Saturday, a parent can go to the public library mm -hmm. and get the information and email. Uh, this, the, the teacher. Oh, I see. So um, there is a lot of tools that we are uh, providing parents. We now also what's have. What's parent link? Parent link is a telephone communication device that we have. Whenever there are emergencies, when there are special meetings uh, at the schools, we contact parents and let them know mm -hmm. there, there is going to be a meeting, there is an emergency, mm -hmm. so we can have a con constant contact with the parent. For ParentLink to function and to work properly, we need parents to make sure that they update our records, that they give us their yes, telephone numbers. That's important, huh? Because if we don't have their telephone numbers, then we cannot um, get, in touch. get in touch with them. And you know, sometimes, as Nilda was saying, the parent might have a phone number this week, and next week they don't have the phone number. Mm -hmm. Many people only have a cell phone now. Yes. Many have these phones that, disposable phones, mm -hmm. they have to load them with minutes. Yeah. And if they don't load them, if they run out of money on Wednesday and they don't put any more minutes on, you can't reach them from that's right. Thursday, Friday, you know, mm -hmm. for the rest of, of the week. And so these are critically important pieces. Yes, and they need to provide us with more than one telephone because that way we'll call all the numbers that they give us. Okay, so, so, they it need doesn't to so if they work, they need to get a work phone and a cell phone and a home phone. And an emergency phone if there is a family member, if in the event that the parent is not there. Okay, so I would like for us to go over, let's put up on the screen the transportation um, issues and what the school is doing to get around some of these issues and to help parents to understand why it is so important for them to keep in touch with the school. Right. So in um, orientation day, um, participating in orientation day activities provide parents with all necessary tools for the school year. So. It is important that regardless of what your transportation problems are, you try to get to your orientation day orientation activities. Day, yes, Attending report card night is a great way to meet teachers and discuss your child's progress. So this is whenever, how often do they have report card night? Well, it's, we have report card in every semester, of course. Every, every um, We have okay. at least, it's, there's, there's four of them. However, depending on the grade, some report cards get sent home. K through eight, uh, parents have to come and pick them up. Uh, 